this video should be used with the previous video on my website. In this video we're going to show you how to find the line of intersection between two planes ABC and the ADE. We're also going to show you how to find the line or the dihedral angle between these two planes. So first of all, we'll start off with ABC and ADE. As you can see, we've come corner A in elevation and plan. This means that they are actually in the one position. So to start off, we're going to draw a line from C that goes straight across. This here is our horizontal cut. We're going to bring this down to our plan to find these two lines and where these two lines meet is the line of intersection between our planes. So we're going to start off with our plane ABC touches here and that C so bring this point down to the line AB AB this is it here and join it back to C that's one line on our cut now it, this line also cuts the line DE and AD so bring down these two points down to corresponding lines in our plan now if we join these two points we find this point here which is another point on our two planes or another point on our line of intersection. To finish off this part of the question we join A which is already a point of intersection between the two planes through this point until it hits the edge of one plane. That's the line of intersection between our two planes. Now that we have this point in our plan we can find it in our elevation. It's along the line DE, so bring this point up to our line DE in elevation and join it back to A like in the plan. Now that we have our line of intersection, we have to move on to the second part of the question, which is find the dihedral angle between the two planes. To find the dihedral angle, we need to get both planes as edge views. How do we do this? To get an edge view, we first need to get a true length. We also need to have a line that's common to both planes. Our line A or our line of intersection from A is a line that's common to both planes. So we need to find the true length of this line of intersection and then use that true length to find the usual angle. So to find the true length, we need to bring up we need to find an auxiliary elevation perpendicular to the line of intersection. So bring up lines perpendicular to the line of intersection, get an x1, y1, and find them in our elevation. These height lines are got from our original elevation. Right, so we have had this point, we bring it up, so from here to A is a true length of our line of intersection. Now that we have a true length, we have only one more step before we finish this question. We can look down our line, the true length of our line of intersection, to find the dihedral angle. So we bring all our points down parallel to our line of intersection. We get an x2y2. I've added in a new x2y2 because there's a massive gap here. And now we step down. So, as I said before in a few questions, this is the view we're working on. This is back one, this is back two, and this is the xy line we're using in between one and two. So, for the line E, it's this distance, it's over here, it's this distance. For the line, or for the corner B, is this distance. Let's bring it down, find B. And step down this distance. You will find that you get basically two lines crossing. That gives you the line or the dihedral angle between the two planes. 